Oh, there you are, guys. You come in. I wonder where you got to. Nice to see you all. Oh, let's go for a walk down the canal, see what we find. Come on, come on. Well, here's some of the beauty of the canal. All the ducks and swans just mulling around, having a good time. Fair play to them. They've got every right to uh, enjoy themselves just as much as the rest of us, I say. Try and see this one over the back, a few of them over the back there. Yeah, that's all flats and uh, houses now. That used to be all down the back of there, from there, all the way up and across right up the back there. All used to be part of the old Oval Team building. Uh, my how things have changed. This is on the Grand Union Canal. So yeah, I'll give you some more information on the Grand Union Canal later. Just so you can see, it's worth getting out and enjoying yourself, enjoying the uh, walk and the scenery that's round. Right, as you can see, behind me, this is one of the cottages that would have been for the lock keepers. This is lock 71, along the Grand Union Canal. This is on the way down towards Hunton Bridge, which will then lead into Catterbury, and down towards Rickmansworth. I'm doing really well. The sun is shining over that direction, which is my left, which will be your right on the screen. As you can see, it's a lovely little lock, I'll let you see there. It's a lovely little view all the way down the canal. Well worth a visit and have a look. Right, this is just a little walk by the canal. As you can see, the lock's over there behind me. Just gonna go past one of the lock people cottages now. Always lovely to see. It's on that side of me. It's a lovely little walk. Can't believe how lucky I've got with the weather. We've got a nice little garden down there. As you can probably see as I go by. I'm glad I ain't in the canal folks, it means I'd have to run up here and climb up them steps just over there. So over the locks. Thank God I ain't got to do that. I suppose that's just one of the perks of being on the canal boat. You know, what's good for some ain't good for others. I don't think I can handle it. It's all nice, it's all good. Normally there's a crane over there somewhere fishing in one of the little streams that runs down the side of the canal. I'll uh, try and have a look see if I've got any video footage of it somewhere and put it in the video. So we're on our way down now to lock number 72, which is good. It's quite a nice brisk little walk in the afternoon. Lovely. What a nice bit of scenery for me to get out to. All worthwhile and good. I'll put all the facts on screen later about what I was walking, what I was doing, all what I wanted to say in the video. Right, let's just have a look at see what canal boats we see on the way down. Just a quick looky. According to Google, can you walk along Grand Union Canal? Yes, you can walk along Grand Union. How long does it take to travel on a narrow boat? Generally, people cruise for between four and nine hours a day. At a speed of three to four miles per hour, operating a lock takes around the same amount of time, 15 minutes, as it does to travel one mile. If you add the amount of locks and the actual miles you wish to travel, and then divide by three, it will work out how long the journey will take. Cruising the whole length, non-stop, would take you 74 hours. Can you cycle the Grand Union Canal? Route description, recreational cycling routes along the towpaths of the Grand Union Canal. It starts in Leicester and ends in London. Its main line starts in Birmingham and ends in London stretching for 137 miles, 220 kilometers, with 166 locks. Who has right of way on a canal towpath? Is the towpath a public right of way? Most towpaths are not public rights of way. Instead, the majority of our towpaths are permissive paths as we allow members of the public to use them. Occasionally we need to close towpaths to carry out maintenance work. How deep is the Grand Union Canal? 5 feet 6 inches. The canal was dredged and bank improvements carried out. The depth was increased to 5 feet 6 inches, 1.68 meters, to allow heavier cargoes, and the minimum width increased to 26 feet, 7.9 meters, to enable two boats of 12 feet 6 inches to pass. If you like this content, there's plenty more walking videos in here. In fact, I've got a playlist of them. I've even got some live walking videos, which you can always check out. I've got my shorts. Go and check them out, they're all good on this uh, channel of mine. In case you didn't realise what channel you're on, it's Two Healing Hands. Feel free to drop a comment, because it won't cost you anything. 